WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Tuesday morning, 30 minutes to go until the opening bell. We've got markets in quite a positive territory. Dow futures up 368 points, or 1.3%, trading 28,737. S&P futures positive by 42. That's 1.3% as well at 32.88. NASDAQ futures up 140 or more than 1.5% at 92.54. That's with Google trading in the negative as well with their earnings last night. We'll start things off. We'll start it off with a chart of the S&P as low as 32.12, where we were. You back things up to Friday afternoon. We're now trading at 32.88. You really back it up to see the high that we traded down from. On Thursday evening, we're almost right back in that highs in the S&P. Jumping over to some of the other indices, there's your Dow 30, 28,737. What to pay attention to is that when 6 o'clock last night rolled around, every market turned around to the positive. There's the Dow, as in not even turned around, right, just extended kind of the rebound. We saw yesterday's action, but the Dow at that time, 28,288, we're now above 28,700. NASDAQ 100, there is 6 p.m. last night. This line is midnight. The run begins at 6 p.m. from 9,075. We're now at 92.55. S&P, there's 6 o'clock when the futures opened last night. We trade from 32.36, now at 32.87. Crude oil even, the low, right then, when futures are there, 6 o'clock, 49.66. We're now at 51.21. Gold contract trading inverse, the high right there, 15.83, now trading 15.64. There's your euro, U.S. dollar at 110.45. In terms of what else is happening, an update on the coronavirus, 425 deaths, more than 20,400 people confirmed. But the market reacting, nonetheless, Chinese annual GDP growth could fall below 2%, but indexes over in Asia finishing in the positive, pulling out their numbers, because this is what the market is kind of reacting to, that China is going to be stimulating their economy, adding money, Nikkei up half a percent, Shanghai 1.3%. HSI 1.2, ASX 4 tenths, and the Kospi 1.8 even in the region. So China stocks are recovering after Monday's 7 to 9% decline. And you have the U.S. markets reacting with the S&Ps right now up more than 1.3% ahead of the open. And we got to put Tesla up there. Tesla above 900 looking open today, up about $100 from the close yesterday as the run continues. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pesavento coming up at 9 o'clock with Trade What You See. I'll be back at 10 with Tom. Have a great Tuesday.